Halloween Plastic Lace Crafts, Easy to Make, Monsters, Ghosts, and Creepy Crawlies by David Comins, Phyllis Damon, and David Hall. So this is a very thin book, not very many um, ideas or crafts um, to do. Um, or, well, there's a few crafts, but there's a few variations, but not um, separate type of crafts. Um, like you got a basic kind of supply list at the beginning. So obviously plastic lace, plastic canvas, lanyard hooks, and a few other things. And it has the project list there. Um, helpful tips and tricks. And then fuzzy creature hangs. So it goes into this. So it shows you the basic thing, but the variation. That's what I'm talking about. So, and then it continues on with a few other variations, adding eyes, teeth, whatever else. Like it does show you, like how did you get the word and then the visual. buggy fours so like with the other one um you were using like this other kind of plastic thing to weave the plastic through this one using just the plastic as is and it's using like arrows to show which way you're going in each step and you're also getting like a few photos um, so, like, you're getting a few variations on the same kind of, um, setup of, so, Yeah, so 10 cool Halloween projects for separate, separate pools, keychains, and decorations. So you're getting 10 projects with a few variations. I'm pretty sure they could have done more than 10, but it is a crafts book for kids, so not a whole lot. Um, I think. 10 would be an okay amount if it's just introducing your kid to the plastic lace type of material and they want to do a Halloween type of um, craft with it. Um, like there's a few other books that um, the design originals have put out for plastic lace and I'm pretty sure there are others out there, but um, it needs to, like it needs to start. You do get the variation if they want to do something different. But yeah, uh, Halloween plastic lace crafts. Happy readings.